<laughs> hey, all right, everybody. How is it going? So it's that time of the month where I look at the SMMT data and the figures and they're quite shocking. Well, I say shocking. Um, I expected it. I expected this to happen. I did say a while back that it happened. Now, the anti-EV clan or gang or crowd, whichever way you want to put it, they will come into the comment section now and they'll tell me the reasons why this is false. Even though it's data, they're going to say things like um, the usual things. They're not really selling them, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. Now, before, before you do make a comment in the comment section, I just want to say something. When I drive around in my car, I see way more EVs on the road with my own eyeballs, okay? Before, no, just take that into account now. If you're an anti-EV person, I'm telling you from experience, there's a load more EVs on the road. Before you make any silly comments and make yourself look silly, okay? And just put that out there, okay? So with that being said, let's have a look what it's all about. So let's get to the big figure of November. EV sales, or should I say BEV sales to be correct, BEV sales, for November 2024 are up 58.4%. I'll say that again, I'll emphasize it. 58.4%. Woohoo! Right, so what does that mean? That means for November, the market share for BEVs, November 2024, was 25.1%, which is above the 22% that the government told them to do. They've gone above and beyond. <laughs> now, I know they're probably trying to play catch up from the previous months to get to the, you know, end of the year and be at the 22%, but 25.1% of the market share, November 2024. Uh, and the market share for November 2023 was 15.6%, so that's quite a big jump. Now, here's the other shocker. Again, petrol. Petrol sales are down 17.7%. So is that the fourth or the fifth month running now that petrol sales are going down? Now, another, somebody's gonna jump in the comment section. I'm, I'm trying to jump before these people jump and stop them jumping and looking silly. <laughs> somebody's gonna jump in and say, yeah, but they're not selling as many petrol cars. Well, that means that the ZEV mandate is working, isn't it? It's doing exactly what it's meant to do. The ZEV mandate is set out from car manufacturers to sell a certain amount of cars. And it's doing exactly what it says on the tin. It's working. It's doing what it said. So, uh, what's next? Uh, diesel sales down 10.1%. We know diesels, diesel sales are the, the worst of the lot, okay? Now, isn't it funny, right, how diesel sales are the worst of the lot? They're the, out of all the cars being sold, they're the worst. Yet, the mainstream media and social media never mention that they're the ones selling the least and they're the ones at rock bottom. Isn't it funny how that ever makes the mainstream media? It's not in all the articles. Now, it is, it's just weird, isn't it? It's not weird at all. <laughs> the reason why mainstream media doesn't talk about it because people don't click on it as quick as negative EV stories. That's why, so the mainstream media just puts in there what they think is gonna sell the papers or the articles or whatever. Um, so diesel sales, well, they're the lowest of the low. Market share for 2024 is 6.1%. So you can see the diesels, they're almost gone. Diesels are almost gone. If you love diesels, they're almost gone. I can't help it. I'm not knocking them. Well, I am a little bit. <laughs> um, but um, they're gone. They've, they've become far too complex, these modern diesels. Um, I wouldn't want one. Uh, Fevs, they're down 1.2%. And Hevs are down 3.6%. So, again, the only cars that are up, up, not down, up, 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 is BEVs. Because the ZEV mandate is working. I know it pains people who hate EVs to admit it, but the ZEV mandate 
is doing what it's supposed to do. Now, it says that the, um, let's look at the year to date. So year to date, um, BEV sales now uh, for 2024 is at 18.7%. So they're creeping closer to that 22%. They're not gonna make it, um, but it's not that far off, is it? It's not that far off at all. Um, and BEV sales year to date are up 17.9%. 338,314 BEVs have been sold so far in 2024 in the UK. So that's not bad at all, is it? And like I said earlier, open your eyeballs, anti EV people, open your eyeballs, have a look on the roads, and you'll see lots of EVs. I can't count them anymore. I used to play the count in the EV game. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it because they're just everywhere. There's one over there, there's one over there, there's one in our driveway, there's one behind the bush, there's one over there, there's one parked in Asda, there's one parked in Sainsbury's, there's one charging, there's one not charging, there's a blue one, there's a green one, they're everywhere. Electric cars are everywhere. So, now, there's a funny thing, it's a funny thing, a bit off topic, but James May and Richard Harmon were doing a, uh, a thing, and it was on YouTube, I can't remember which, which paper or magazine it was, whatever. I'm going to say something like the, oh, the Times or the Telegraph. I can't remember, so I'm not going to say what it is. Um, and they kept saying that EV sales are down. In this video, they were saying things like the EV sales are down. They're not down. They're not down. They're not down. <laughs> um, so what else should I look at? Um, blah, blah, blah. Let's have a look at the... Look at the, hang about, I'm just looking a minute, just wait a second. Uh, I want to look at November by brand, because I do like to look down to see how Tesla is doing. Now, I know it's not a massive indicator because sometimes they have more shipments in than there is, but I do like to have a look just to see how they're doing, if they're still doing well or not doing well. And as it happens, Tesla sold 4,000, 558 cars in November, and they are up 176%. I'm quite surprised at that. I am quite surprised that they've sold a lot of electric cars. Now, here's a question for you silly anti-EV people. Is Tesla pre-registering EVs to get their sales figures up when they don't sell any petrol or diesel cars? Think about it. Have a little think in your noggin now. <laughs> do they need to do that to meet the ZEV mandate? Have a little think about it before you answer. Go on. Um, what else should we, should we look at? Let's look at BYD and see if they're doing any better. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's a surprise. So BYD who have been slowly moving into the market more and more. In November, they saw 1,393 cars. So that their number's going up every month. And the change from November last year, I know it's gonna be a massive change because they probably won't sell in any, is 421% change. So we got Tesla doing okay. We got BYD doing okay. Is there any other... Um, any other only brands? It's not, is it? Oh, there's, um, oh, I can't think of the other names. I can't think of the other names. I'm trying to look through it so I can find anything interesting. And I can't find anything else interesting. Uh, Aura, 17, that's not good, is it? Polestar. Oh, Polestar's actually gone up. Now, they've been on, they've been rock bottom Polestar, haven't they? But they actually have gone up. They've sold... 672 cars in November 2024, and they are up 16%. Skywell, who's Skywell then? Are they electric brand or not? I've never heard of them. Well, they sold three cars, so I'm not sure what they are. But anyway, what's the takeaway? What is the takeaway? I haven't gone through everything, but um, you can see that with the ZEV mandate put in place, you are going to see petrol, par petrol cars go down and down and down. 
is the Labour government going to allow plug-in hybrids till 2035? Are they going to change their stance and allow car manufacturers to do plug-in hybrids that can go a certain distance? They might do. It's been they're talking about it. I don't think they're going to. There's, there's also been talk. Are they going to water down the ZDV mandate? I don't know. I don't know. Because it seems to be that it is doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, and if you look to, if you look at total car sales for November 2024, compared to 2023, total car sales is only down 1.9%. So I know they like it to be up higher, but it's not like a massive difference, is it? So... There we go. That's my take on SMMT data. Um, I, I wanted to do another video on... Oh, I can't remember that. It was another newspaper. And they put out an article. And they want people to email in. Email in if they've had a bad experience with electric cars. Anyway, I'll keep that video for the next one, I think. And we'll have a little chat about that in the next video. I just wanted to do the SMMT data quickly. Because there we go. Oh, and I, I, I haven't said the amount numbers of it. In 2024, November 2024, they sold 38,558 BEVs. Uh, diesel was 904... Nine, sorry. I'll say that again. I'll say it all again because, you know, I'll try and say it properly. The Bev BEVs sold in 2024, November 2024, was 38,581. Diesel sales were 9,434. So BEVs have almost four times as much as diesel. Now petrol was 70,317, but last year it was 85,479. So you can see that things are changing. FEVs about the same, HEVs just a little a little bit less than it was last year. But the, you know, the biggest winners are the BEVs. Anyway, I've waffled on long enough. Don't forget, comment, subscribe, like, all them beautiful things, and I'll catch you in the next one. Ahoy! Hey.